Earn your luck. Risk everything to win. Santos Saul Alvarez Barragan, Canelo, was born in July 18, 1990, in the Mexican town of San Agustin, Jalisco, the youngest of eight children between Ana Maria Barragan and Santos Alvarez. From a boxing and humble family, he grew up in Cuanacatlán preparing popsicles and ice cream. He stocked ice cream shops at the age of five. He sold them at buses at the age of seven. He was a cheerful introvert, enjoying soccer and arcade games. He worked on his godfather's ranch herding cows, spending afternoons swimming in dams. He disliked going to school, usually skipping high school classes. When teased about his skin color, freckles, and red hair, he would hold his ground even against older children. He became interested in boxing when his brother Rigoberto traveled to Tijuana to make his professional debut. After returning to Guadalajara, discouraged by the lack of fights, he put gloves on his younger brother's fists. He fought with skill, dexterity, and courage unbecoming for his age. I want to be like you, said Saul. You'll be better than me, his brother replied. His father, fearing he'd get hurt, did not want Saul to fight. He soon discovered, however, that his rivals were the ones getting injured. After months of sparing, they visited training grounds four times to enter the state team. They were ignored. Determined not to give up, they issued a challenge. We'll beat your best fighter and go our own way. Intrigued, they took the challenge. Saul dominated the fight. He earned a spot on the team. He surprised by winning the state and regional stages, advancing to the National Olympic Finals. He lost by controversial decision against Mario Belcázares. They sought out Jose Chepo Reynoso, trainer of world champion Oscar El Chololo Larios. It was he who gave him the nickname Canelo. He knocked out a fighter twice his age and sparing. In 2004, he achieved silver in the Sinaloa National Youth Championship, then gold in the Tuxla Gutierrez Youth Olympics. He tallied 44 wins, 12 by KO, and two losses as an amateur. In October 2005, after no support from the Mexican Olympic boxing team, he made his professional debut displaying power, speed, and lethal counterattacks. He defeated Abraham Gonzalez by technical KO. At 15 years old, a newborn daughter was on her way. It motivated him. A year later, his parents got divorced. He struggled with alcoholism till he was 18 years old. In August 2008, he received the Fede Centro title after beating Carlos Adán Jerez. In 2009, he knocked out Tony Mazatleco Fitch and Dominican Eury Gonzalez. He won the Latino welterweight title of the World Boxing Organization. In May 2010, he made his debut under Oscar de la Hoya, defeating Jose Miguel Cotto by 10 KO in 9 rounds. He resisted a brutal left-hand blow from the Puerto Rican. At that time, he dated former beauty queen and TV host Marisol Gonzalez. Their relationship ended in 2011, weeks after getting engaged. In March, he defeated Matthew Hatton by unanimous decision. He obtained the World Boxing Council Super Welterweight Belt, the sixth youngest Mexican boxer to be crowned world champion. Boxer Ulisa Solis accused him of assault in Barranca de Oblatos, fracturing his jaw and hastening his retirement. He sued for $9 million. Canelo denied everything. They reached an undisclosed agreement. He beat Alfonso Gomez. He defended his title against Shane Mosley. He made Austin Trout kiss the mat for the first time in his career. In September 2013, he faced undefeated Floyd Mayweather Jr. They fought at 152 pounds. He dominated Canelo in 12 rounds with his speed, footwork, and southpaw jab. Cutting weight left Canelo without stamina. After 42 victories, 30 KOs, and a draw, he suffered his first professional defeat. He beat El Perro Angulo, then defeated Cuba's Elislandi Lara. He knocked out United States James Kirkland with right hand recognized as knockout of the year. After defeating Beefy Smith in 9 rounds and being crowned WBO Super Welterweight Champion, he challenged Triple G. He moved up to middleweight to face 34-year-old Puerto Rican Miguel Cotto, winning by points and unanimous decision. He obtained a second title in two different categories, Super Welterweight and Middleweight. He defended his middleweight title against Britain's Amir Khan and challenged Triple G, who was present at the fight. After defeating Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., the long-awaited duel against Gennady Golovkin, Triple G was announced. Canelo was better the first six rounds. Triple G dominated the rest of the match. The fight ended in a split decision tie. The rematch was scheduled for May 2018. Canelo testing positive for clenbuterol delayed the match. They fought in September. In the first fight, Canelo sought to counterattack. Now, he attacked and drove back Triple G. He won by majority decision, earning the WBA middleweight belt. He unified the middleweight titles after defeating Daniel Jacobs by unanimous decision. The International Boxing Federation stripped him of his title after failing to reach an economic agreement with Ukraine's Sergei Derevyanchenko. 
Oscar de la Hoya called it an insult to boxing and all the fans. After beating Sergio Kovalev and Callum Smith, he was reigning champion in four different categories and recognized as the best pound for pound in the world. He ended his relationship with Golden Boy Promotions in 2020. He then lost to Russia's Dmitry Vivol, unanimously on points, failing to unify the four crowns in the second division. In 2021, he defeated British Billy Joe Saunders in eight rounds by technical KO. He also downed Caleb Plant in 11 rounds. In September 2022, he ended the trilogy against Triple G. He won by unanimous decision after 12 rounds, defending all four super middleweight titles. Now, married to Fernanda Gomez, with four children, as the highest paid boxer in the world, he prepares to face Brendan John Ryder. He will do so in his beloved Guadalajara, risking everything to win. What is the price of glory? Canelo Alvarez knows it best.